What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this is going to be my season four review of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now with this season, what we have going on now is of course it's post high school. They beat the mayor. Faith is in that coma. Buffy's entering college. Willow's entering college. They're at UC Sunnydale and there is this new threat that they think is out there that we initially think is this military group, but it's actually pertaining to this project that they're working on project 314 and this season is just a another good take on how buffy manages to be a supernatural series that is revolving around a girl not only navigating the life of a responsibility she didn't ask for but continuously just learns to accept it and embrace it and learn to love it and learn to love helping others into a series that's also exploring the side that is related to her normal life where she is just again we're reminded she's just a, a young girl a young teen she's in the college now she's going through all the same struggles and i know that first initial episode in the season where she's struggling in her in her campus navigation where she doesn't really seem that enthused by her roommate she doesn't seem too enthused about how how overwhelmed the feeling of that campus makes her feel and then she's also ridiculed i would say by not ridiculed but like i would say scolded by one of her professors i guess you could say it wasn't a professor she wasn't supposed to be in there um uh, in some degree i'm like okay guy i get where you're coming from but like ch chill out I, I every time i see that moment i just get i get angry <laughs> like chill out you don't need to do all of that uh i guess she's not on the roster but come on now but that initial episode was something that definitely helped set the mood of her overcoming struggles with college and then you know all it took was that one little normal thing to her with that vampire sunday that showed up and she's right back into thinking you know i got this i can do this and college just becomes easier for her. not saying that everything becomes easier but the idea of college is something she's more open to we just see this kind of shift in her head that she again is entering adulthood and that shock i think a lot of teens go through that was a great way to capture all of that in that episode opener or in that season opener with the initial episode of the freshman but then there's a lot of new developments that go on in this season too spike we know gets that chip in his brain when he's caught by the initiative who are again working on this project 314 led by maggie walsh and the ultimate end game here is to comp well the project anyway adam as it, as it calls himself ends up taking over that project killing maggie and his end game is collecting as many demons as he can inside the initiative and then unleashing them on the soldiers after they're all locked in a bloodbath would ensue and then adam would have enough body parts of humans and demons to comprise an army of things just like him things half technology half human half demon and i guess what the initiative originally was wanting to do was like use this as like an army for the military uh and i i love how this season also kind of just goes even further into how known are demons in this universe and the knowledge of supernatural activity again kind of playing on that idea that people have about how the government hides things from the public and they know a lot of things they just don't let us know all of it so knowing that the government is very much aware of demons they're aware of witchcraft they're aware of all these supernatural things and they're actually trying to put them into the military in some fashion i like that aspect of it as well and again there's some interesting developments specifically with spike who gets this chip in his head and that kind of puts him in that that puts him on the path of this conflict in his mind where he can't really be that vampire that he once was that killed two slayers he can't be a human either because no one is wanting to accept him and he has that still hunger of bloodlust within him that the vampire or that the demon in him because the demon is still in control at this point primarily uh with the sum with the human remnants being in the background so there's that conflict there that ends up leading him down that path of you know learning that he at least can still harm demons because he can't harm humans due to the chip but he can harm demons and he loves it so much he's just looking for this sense of violence this he's always looking for violence so he learns that he can hurt hunt demons and it ends up getting him attacked by a couple demons at one point in the in the season so it's again just these cool little things that happen that start putting people on their path such a spike when he starts to just not fit in anywhere you're not fitting in with the demon crowd because they know you're beating them up but you also are not being accepted by buffy and her crew because they know that once that chip is gone underneath it all you're just going to turn right back back to doing what those other demons are doing that's sucking the blood out of humans killing other people killing innocent people but then we start to see this slowly progress into someone who seems to actually want to do good 
off of the basis of he starts developing feelings for Buffy and you know that's more explored in season five I like the relationship that does form between her and Riley I don't necessarily like Riley but I do like how he was much more someone who was less problematic as opposed to Angel and as opposed to definitely the other person she interacted with briefly Parker it's got a lot of memorable episodes as well this year's girl who are you uh not beer bad but that episode hush which i think is an award-winning show or award-winning episode as well but that episode in general just how long they went without dialogue in that episode was amazing and the fact that it was so effective and compelling the gentlemen still are one of the scariest things to show up in that series and just how they further explored you know entering adulthood the the anxiety one might feel from that as a young girl who again has all these responsibilities that she is struggling with or juggling as it pertains to the supernatural world but now you also have to deal with the fact that you're gonna have to start paying bills at some point you need to go get a job you know it's just so it's so much it's it's really just an exacerbated thing to look at as well considering that no one in the real world is battling supernatural demons and entities day in and day out <laughs> but season four well i would say it's not one of my favorite seasons i think it's on like one of my least favorite it's got some cool moments in it the season finale i know doesn't get a lot of praise from a lot of people they don't really love it they think the, the episode previously should have been the last episode of the season and i get that to some degree uh i just love how this episode kind of also gives us a more in-depth look at faith when eliza dushku makes her two cameo appearances not cameo but makes her appearances in the season when faith awakens from her coma and we see that faith actually is someone who is regretting what she's done and she again is just proving that she isn't someone who is a bad individual she's someone who thinks that she needs to go out and prove herself to be this person because that's all people believe her to be and she doesn't think that anyone will accept her trying to be good anymore so might as well do what everyone else has always told you you'll end up like she's already made comments in the past about how people thought she would end up like her mother she would end up being dead or something like that so it was nice to see that she actually has this internal struggle with hating herself as well and that's explored a little bit more in angel season one season four for me has a lot of great episodes a lot of strong highlights and i love the body swap episodes because it allows them to get to be in each other's shoes and see how things are from each other's perspective uh that buffy faith rivalry i meant to say but let me know what you guys think about buffy season four down in the comment section below what are some of your favorite episodes if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and if there's any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video